What's going on guys? It's Friday. I uh, hope you guys had a great week and thank God it's weekend. And uh, sorry I couldn't upload anything in a while. Uh, it's just I was bombarded with work and just been way too busy to make anything for uh, for YouTube, but this weekend I'm gonna try to uh, do my best to make some contents and uh, hopefully keep things uh, exciting for you. Uh, pretty much the big thing that's coming for my car are four things that I'm gonna be installing trying to make my stock GT350 uh, in close or try to get as close as I can to GT350R uh, performance. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna try to pretty much put in the least amount of money and try to get most out of performance out of it and uh, those four things uh, are coming very soon uh, and uh, uh, one of them uh, is here and that's the today's video what it's all about and today's video obviously you've seen it on the title it's an unboxing of that one of those items and actually this Sunday, giving you guys heads up, I'm going to be making another video of me trying to install my rear sway bar uh, that is a stock GT350R sway bar into my uh, stock, uh, stock GT350. So that should be interesting. Uh, and again, more is coming until all four of those items are completely installed and good to go. Uh, once it is all done, well, we're going to do some good... Uh, uh, driving review again and see how the car de behaves and feels uh, and hopefully we can get more uh, performance out of the car so uh, well without further ado we're gonna do some nice unboxing today hope you guys enjoy and again ha have a great weekend we're gonna get started <laughs> So here is the here is the item in question, and let's see what we are looking at. This uh, obviously I haven't opened this yet, so it's my first time seeing this with you guys, and hopefully I can uh, give you guys a personal opinion and and kind of very first impression of how good the product feels and and see how it goes so let's see here it's tightly packed up it's always a good thing and make sure it comes safe without too much scratches like that well so that's a little surprise I thought for the price uh, I thought they would package it in at least a nice box or something that represents their company but as you can see it kind of comes like a almost like a oversized Big Mac uh, that's how I would put it almost looks like a burger wrapper there and there's nothing else in it so to make sure yep that's it so so this is it let's see what it looks like mm. 
Yeah, but I, I, I am kind of disappointed in how uh, how this is all packaged up. It's but we'll see. All right, so there it is. Let's try to get some closer shot for you guys. Well, so this is it and very substantial, very hefty uh, product here and as you can see it looks very pretty. I like that red, it's almost got that, uh, um, I don't know if, you, if this is catching on the camera but the plate itself has a nice a finish to it they almost did a little bit of a different type of weave pattern finish on the surface and uh, it's just not you know high polished surface it looks good um, all the bolts and nuts are obviously very substantial uh, and and again if you guys didn't see it on the on the the title uh, this is a Borschlag camber plate. Uh, it's pretty much one of the better camber plates you can get. It is more on the costly, expensive side, but I figure it's well worth it. You know, it's, it's one of the products that came out later years uh, with more research and thought process built into it. Uh, and, uh, and the reason why I really liked it is because they provide with pretty much all the uh, all the nuts and bolts and also you literally don't have to reuse the stock top plate uh, of your stock suspension and all the again the bolts uh, you really don't have to reuse anything even the center bolt so uh, that's part of the reason I got it also you do definitely get more um, adjustability uh, I believe on the website they say negative two and a half degrees but I've heard some people able to get almost close to three degrees or even a little more of negative camber with this kit so uh, again also comes with very large oversized bearing everything's just it feels solid nothing's you know uh, it looks like it's made very well and again, that's the biggest reason I spent the money I wanted to I, I especially on suspension parts I don't want to cheap out on it uh, I don't want anything to bend or crack or break on me all right and we'll do a some close-up shot of the entire product so you guys can get a good glimpse of the whole thing I mean, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty heavy stuff here. So here's the bottom end of it. Very smooth uh, rotation here. I couldn't say the fit and finish is great. The fit is great. Uh, I don't complain anything about the fit. The finish, yeah, I think they, they could definitely improve on. Um, I mean, th these camber plates cost over $500 US, and you know, for that money, you definitely want to have a better finishing job, um, especially on the outer edges, all these little scratches. i try to catch it on camera here, right there. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm like I said, it's not going to do anything functionally, but if, if I own one of these companies that make car parts, I wouldn't want my parts to look like this going to a customer. And they do uh, right on here, it says LF, and then also there's a little arrow saying F, which kind of tells you which side is forward and it's left side. And it's for a Mustang S550 model. So all of that is all engraved into their, their plate. So that's a little nice touch, personal touch. 
Uh, and well, let's see here. And that's the left side. Let's see if there's anything, uh, anything different on the right side. Exactly the same on the right. There's nothing else that's been included, and this is it pretty much. Uh, it's a little bit on the dirtier side, and you can definitely see some nicks. I don't know if you can actually see it right there. Yeah, right there. You know, it doesn't drive me nuts over it, but I mean, for the cost. You would hope everything comes, you know, brand spanking new. So not too uh, thrilled about that, but hey, as long as it performs, I'm fine with it. I mean, I'm not going to call them and say, hey, you know what, send me a whole new one over something like this. It should be fine. Unless there's major defect on the functionality of the, of the, of the item. But yeah, well, here it is, guys. These are going in. Uh, pretty soon. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when I'll find time, but uh, I'm going to be installing uh, camber plates with the R springs. That's the other item. Uh, so just to go over the four items, guys, real quick. Uh, it's the the front springs, rear sway bar, front camber plates, and the wheels and tires. Uh, obviously the wheels and tires are going to come at the very end. Um, I'm still waiting until I move to a new house, uh, prepare the garage, and right now I don't even have places, you know, uh, store my stock wheels and, and tires. So I'm going to wait. That's going to come probably towards, towards the end of the year. But, uh, but everything else, the sway bar, springs, and the camber plates are going in soon. And the sway bar, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to be personally installing that. I'll probably try to make a little how-to video. Doesn't didn't look like too hard uh, of a job, but we'll see, you know how that always goes. Uh but that's coming this Sunday. I'm going to uh make a video out of it. Maybe I can uh, post it up sometime early next week. But otherwise, yep, this is a quick little video for you guys before the weekend starts. Uh stay safe out there. I know it's just raining a lot in a lot of places i know there's a hurricane coming just uh, be safe don't do anything too crazy i will see you guys again hopefully early next week have a great weekend bye